Hey everyone, Brad from the Visual Studio here. In this video I'm going to be showing you some features that we like to use in Affinity Photo. It is a very powerful Photoshop alternative. Their biggest selling point is it is not monthly subscriptions, it's a once-off payment at a pretty affordable price. So I'm going to be showing you some features that we use quite often. These are all stock photos taken from freepick.com. These are all free royalty photos. You guys can go and have a look at that website for some pretty nice photos. The first tool that I want to show you is the patch tool. We use this quite often for removing spots from photos. Obviously, we don't like to manipulate portraits too much, but we'd want to get rid of a pretty bad spot. So here. we're going to be using the patch tool for this. So if you're located over here, if you don't see it, it might be on spot healing brush. We're going to be using the patch tool though. So just select the area you want to get rid of. We're going to so just circle the spot, click some neutral skin, and then just click again to get rid of it. Now that spot is removed. You can see there's still a bit of color here. So maybe we'll use the spot healing brush and just select some neutral skin. Let's maybe say this part over here, just to blend it in a little bit more. Let's maybe lower the opacity a little bit. We'll select some new area there and just drag, just to blend it in more. There we go. That looks a lot more natural. So the next feature we're going to talk about is object removal. So this is very similar to the previous part, but on a lot, much larger scale. We're going to be using the inpainting brush tool for this. Now all you need to do is make your circle smaller over here. I'm using the square brackets to change the size of the brush. So we're just going to select him just like this. One continuous click to select everything. And I'm going to release the click now. You'll see I didn't remove his hand there. So we're just going to make sure we click that away as well. And just clean up a few areas. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now he also has a reflection in the water here. So we're just going to select there. Let's just do it again just to make sure we completely remove nicely. It looks like a pretty good reflection. So the next effect we're going to look at is color manipulation. This is a pretty easy eff effect to get, to be honest. So what we're going to do is add a pixel layer to our car image here. We are going to select the paintbrush tool by clicking B on the keyboard. You'll see it's over here, paintbrush tool. And we want to select a color. So let's just, maybe we want to turn this car green. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to paint over the car. You can do this fairly rough, to be honest. It's quite amazing how what you can get away with. So we're just going to color in the car. We'll color in the, the entire car, including the wheels, that's fine. Make sure we get the undercarriage there. And the grill. Make sure we get this piece over here too. And there's some red exposed over here. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to change the layer properties. So we're going to click on the layer, click on this drop down called normal. And these are the blending modes. And we want to find the mode called hue. There we go. Now you'll see that on the edges here, there is some um, color that's bleeding over. So we're going to use the eraser tool and just zoom in. And you can just erase the edges quite nicely. Just like this. There we go. Just like that. You can come around the back and do more over here. Very, very easy. You see, it didn't even color in the wheels. It maybe did the um, brake caliper. Didn't do the lights, didn't do the grill. Very nice. And if you want to, you can come and maybe erase inside the, the window. Make the brush smaller. Just like that. And there we go. We've changed the color of the car pretty quickly. The next effect we're going to look at would be changing the background sky. 
we took this photo, well I've taken this photo off free pick as well, and it's pretty bland with the sky like that. A beautiful sky with lots of clouds is pretty, is quite attractive, so we're going to replace the sky here. I'm going to be using this tool up in the top left here, it's the selection tool, and we're going to select the sky. So there's some overlap here, we're going to select the subtract option over here, and just remove that bit of the mountain. We can try and select the mountain in the background as well. As well as these buildings on the side here. So now all we're going to do is unlock the image. We're going to delete that sky from the image just by pressing the delete button while it is all selected. The image with a nice sky is below the layer of the foreground here, even though it says background, don't worry about that. So we want to now move this so it has better perspective. So there's the original image, we, want, we don't obviously want the, the water, so we'll just make it go just below there. And just like that we've replaced the sky with a much more attractive looking sky. The next effect we want to look at is making a mock-up. This is quite popular with graphic designers to showcase their work that they've made. So now we're going to be using this image here, which I also got on free pick. We're going to be inserting this screenshot of our website, the visual, the visual studio.co.za. Now we want to scale the image and partially place it in place. We want to get it hundred percent on this first try. Okay. So now what we want to do is select the warp tool. So mesh warp tool. And we'll go and select the corners to adjust into place. Just to give it correct perspective on the screen. So we'll go and we'll move these corners into place. We'll straighten the image out. The adjust tools on the side here. Okay, that's pretty close. Say apply. Now we want to make sure that it is in the screen nicely, so I'm going to hide this layer, unlock the background layer, and we're going to use the selection tool again just to select all of the white area. Press delete. Now we want to move the image of our screen capture behind this layer and then we can scale it and adjust it again just to fit in the borders of the screen very nicely. Just like that. So this was a very basic overview of some of the tools that we like to use in Affinity Photo. We hope you found this useful and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.